For those of you who have never tried yoga but want to, this easy pose may interest you. For those of you who have never tried yoga and don't want to, you might change your mind. Used for years by yogis and yoginis, Viparita Karana Asana, or legs up the wall pose, is getting mainstream attention from running enthusiasts and cubicle warriors alike. The reason? It's working wonders for tense bodies that need a little rejuvenation. You don't have to attend a class or workshop to reap the magic of legs up the wall because all you need is a wall. There are even some folks making time for it at work. We're telling you about a handful of its benefits as well as showing you how it's done. Grab some wall. Here are five benefits of putting your legs up a wall every day. One improves digestion. Movement in the abdomen helps to massage the intestines, which boosts digestion and fights constipation, according to research published in the Journal of Bodywork and Movement Therapies. Your appetite may increase as well due to better and quicker elimination of digested food. 2. Promotes healthy circulation. Because this is considered an inverted pose, blood flow increases to the upper part of the body, bringing a rush of oxygen with it. Your lymphatic system also gets a good flush. Experts say this helps to reduce swelling in the lower extremities and can assist with blood pressure problems. 3. Aids in pain relief. Working the muscles in the pelvis helps to strengthen the reproductive organs, easing menstrual cramps and symptoms of menopause. Exercising stiff joints gently with this pose is also beneficial for those who suffer from arthritis or fibromyalgia. Leg cramping, day or night, can subside with regular practice. Due to its effect on circulation, this pose also aids with headache relief and prevention, say experts at Yoga International. 4. Reduces stress and anxiety. Relaxing on your back with your legs elevated helps to calm your mind and let go, according to Yoga International. Combined with deep breathing, Viparita Karana helps you to slow down, and lets your parasympathetic nervous system take over, prompting you to rest. Best of all, you get to lie there and let your mind drift. 5. Stretches hips, legs, back. Your calf and leg muscles, hamstrings, and back will all get a good stretch with this pose. So will your neck and hips as you move into and out of the pose. Over time, it will make your body more flexible and elastic, relieving tension and pain in those areas. Regular practice can also help ease back pain. Be sure to keep your spine aligned in a straight line for maximum benefit. For an extra stretch, spread your feet into a small V formation. When practicing, Start out slowly, no more than 5 to 10 minutes at a time until your body adjusts to being in this position. Build up to 15 minutes and you're good to go. As with any poses, there are some precautions. Do not try to climb higher up the wall with your feet. If you have a neck, hip, or back injury, you should avoid doing this pose. People with glaucoma or history of cardiac or stroke issues may want to avoid this pose because it will increase pressure around the head and heart. Thank you and may this information useful for you.